key updates this morning from the State Disaster Management Group meeting were that the record flood peak in St George at 13.85 metres is holding steady. Uh, the advice from uh, Bureau of Meteorology is that that height is unlikely to go too much higher, but obviously we're watching with interest and monitoring uh, the flood heights at St George right at this moment. Certainly, uh, the clear message for all of the residents of St George is that there will be no return today. Your safety is primary to our decision making uh, across all state government and local government decision makers. There are a range of factors that impact on this, including uh, the security of the town, the level of the flood waters, the water over the roads uh, leading into St George and at this point in time the Mooney Highway, the last remaining road, is actually cut um, at Taragi Channel. There's also issues to deal with the water supply, uh, electricity supply and importantly the sewerage supply, some of which has been damaged by this record flood level and efforts will be made today to deal with that. A last major issue, of course, is that we have a considerable number of homes that have been uh, impacted by the flood water with water over the floorboards. That will have to be assessed and arrangements made for those families to be accommodated in other, other areas of the city. The other issue of great importance is the accommodation of those people who will be able to uh, who will return but be unable to return immediately to their homes. An evacuation centre uh, is being set up in St George to cater for those people. At the moment we have 34 police in St George. That's triple the normal numbers and that's designed primarily to ensure the safety of all of the community, particularly a security uh, overlay of the township while uh, most people uh, are out, still remaining out of the city. That police presence will remain probably for around a week to ensure that there is a uh, proper security overlay while people return safely to their homes. There has been no reported uh, thefts of property in St George since the evacuation started. Uh, I can absolutely confirm that and our police patrols have not had any uh, suspects in relation to looting or stealing from properties at all. Uh, the final message is that we will uh, be considering all of the factors that impact on a safe return uh, at the next SDMG meeting this afternoon. Uh, we will make a decision as soon as humanly possible for the safe return of the residents of St George to their homes. As soon as that decision is made, we will communicate it to the public through the normal public messaging systems uh, right, across, uh, right across Queensland because we know that uh, many of the people who left St George are staying with family and friends uh, in, in various locations around the state. We are very, very grateful that people have been patient but all of the decisions that we have been made are in the best interests of those people and their safety. Also decisions were made at today's State Disaster Management Group meeting in relation to the safety and security of people south of St George and also south of Charleville. Uh, checks are being made on the river heights in those areas, Dirrambandi, Hebel um, and also Cunnamulla. But at this stage all the advice we are getting is that those towns will be safe um, and that whilst they may become isolated, resupply issues are already in train to manage the ongoing situations there.